Yo, is this what the yo these are about hackers, bro? That guy smells like a truck, bro. Him, but he sleeps well. Good morning, everybody. We're jumping the GLS today. A few things to do. Gonna go wash the car, get some coffee. What are we doing after that? We're gonna go go karting, fam. Gonna have a good time. All the boys, this and that. Oh, it's gonna be a crazy day. We deserve it. It's gonna be a long day as well. So let's go. Man, town. The mess wash, single wash, bug spray, we'll clear wherever. Bro, they said that they put bug spray on the car, right? And then I asked Christian, hey, is, is it normal to put bug spray on the car? And you were saying, oh no, I think it's for the ones that prevent the bugs from hitting the window. And I was like, man, I thought I thought they were talking about Morty. <laughs> what? Hey, you're gone, bro. <laughs> hey, you're lost it, bro. It's too early for you. Oh man, it's too early, man. I need coffee, I need something. Let me tell you something about TMB. TMB, since we moved in this area, yeah, okay. Ice coffee TMB, their 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 business right. just went up from this to this. Because all the boys are just going to TMB. You know what? We're like the 24-7. It's latte, uh, almond milk. I was just trying to get a late, right? Because we're late. All time you pronounce it as latte. Why is it spelled as L-A-T-T-E? What's that gonna be? Late. It's a late. Like at this point. Nobody has the right to laugh at me about that, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's a late, fam. A lot of customers. So people here. need to move on, bro. Did we get... Double shots. Ooh, I have to give another good. Morning, my bro. Good. What, we, what are we doing today? Bro. Bro, everyone's late, bro. Did you see that video of that black guy? Hello. Down the thing, that roller coaster? No. On Twitter? Oh, no. Nah. Last year? Put you on this operator for 10 minutes. This call may be recorded for quality and training and assurance. Right, like, I get it. But <laughs> just. <laughs> Why are you wasting five seconds of my life? <laughs> I do 100 calls a day and you're gonna waste that. <laughs> bro, this is a really big train with like Australia, like customers are being terrible. Bro, they'll put you on an operator and you have to go through. Di Different operators to get to an assistant, and then assistants put you to someone else. And by the next minute, and they hang you up in 30 minutes, and they hang up on you. No one calls you back. What the fuck is going on? We need to move the economy. Shit needs to happen. Okay? Bro, people are so in this country. Bro, in Dubai, if there's a road work, right? They literally tell you to go faster. Okay. <laughs> because they need you to get home and get fucking moving. Don't be slow. That's what I like about Dubai. If yeah? you guys live in Australia, I play this Australia. game. Play this game if you live in Australia. Like when you drive past roadworks, count how many people are working and how many people are just standing there. Like every time I do it, there's like one in five people working. The rest just like stand there like scratch head. Mm. And then you wonder why a road takes like four years to get built. Where are we going? We just arrived at the uh, oh, go-karting nice. place. That's a GC. It's huh? gonna look like Mario Kart, bro. You're gonna still have an Izzy looking like Donkey Kong. And <laughs> Tiny has little go karts. Uh, we're go karting. Abdullah's gonna prove to the world how slow he is. There were some dirty drivers, but uh, we recovered a couple of times and then. Uh, Zach was blocking us half the race, but it went, went good. I came six, I think. I came six. It's messed up, bro, but at least I beat Hakim, at least I beat Zach. That's all that really matters, bro. Hakim was yapping about he was gonna win, but fam, that guy sucks eggs, bro. He's trash. Um, KK, on the other hand, unsurprising, bro. He drove, he drove really well. Ribs was the shittest driver, but somehow he came second. And uh, Izzy, fam, I don't even know how the fuck did that Donkey Kong looking motherfucker. Up from Mario Kart <laughs> come first place. As you can see, I'm sweating, but that's what it takes to be the best. Now look at the scoreboard. Come look, come look. I thought this. Uh, I know we're used to luxury cars, but at, the, at this point, <laughs> I was up and sweating. Yeah, bit form for it. Fuck. Cool. Right, are you fifth, eating salad tomorrow? Fifth after all this. All right. Get the cars out. I'm not as. Seven to eight cars out now. I want my car, I want my Labra, I want the top G car right now. Fuck this go karting bullshit. We're gonna do some real race. Would you like the crazy thing is that I remember I was I was in GC and he called me. He's like he's like he's like come over. I want to show you something that's important. And I was like what is it? He's like just come over. I show you something. And then I went and then under his apartment there was this white gorgeous stunning shiny Lamborghini with the roof up 
And then he was, and then uh, yeah, he was sitting there. He's like, bro, this car, bro. I want to buy one of these cars, you know, one day. It's giving me so much, so the speech is so good. I was like, yeah, I was making dua that he's gonna buy one. And then I was like, well, yeah, let's go take a picture next to it. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I walk, the car opens. And Abdullah was like, bro, what's better than taking a picture in it? I was like, what? He's like, we drive it. I was like, how can we drive it? He's like, because I own the car. <laughs> uh, bro, it took me about a day or two to comprehend what he, this, what he just said to me. I just froze there. I froze. I literally froze when he said that. <laughs> I was like, nah. You know, you know everybody say, thinks you, you rented it? At that moment, I thought we rented the car. And then, and then, and then and, uh, until, until he bought the plane number. I think I still didn't believe you until he bought the plane number. Right. The thing is, what's crazy is, obviously as a, like I was 20 at the time, turning 21. So obviously it's quite big for us. But right now a Lambo is just another Lambo. All right, because we're used to that lifestyle. We drive Lambos, drive McLarens, drive Ferraris. You know, we drive G-Wagons, whatever, you're, you know, we, we drive all that. And the reason why it was so crazy is because you're literally 20, bro, going into 21 and you're buying a Lamborghini. That's crazy, right? And you're not really buying it on finance or putting interest on it. You're fully paying it outright, right? With legitimate money that you made. That there, ladies and gentlemen, is a real flex, okay? Because for that to happen, here's one thing I'm gonna do. When I have kids, the expectations are way too high. The standard's gonna be off the roof, right? And my kid's gotta have a Lamborghini when he's 18, fully paid out. You gotta figure it out, okay? You gotta always work your way out. Shouting at his pregnant wife's belly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be driving a Lambo when you're five years old, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, like, if you really wanna do it and you really wanna live that lifestyle, I'm pretty sure, like, the universe will reward you if you work hard. Ooh. And the universe Facts. looks at it. But the thing the universe does, which is quite tricky, is it keep it just keeps watching you. You don't know that it's watching you. There's blunt times. There's times that you feel like you're second guessing yourself. There's times where there was a spark at the beginning of a project that you've, you know, come up with. And now it's like, it's not really something that you want to work on anymore because you don't see the same vision. It all happens, but at the end of the day, the universe is seeing all of this. And God loves the people that work hard. God loves the people that are smart. And God loves the people who, like have a great character and if you do that day by day one day or another the world is going to recognize this one day or another you're going to be known for that yes that's how it works so you just got to understand that everything is being watched everything you do is actually being watched you just have to stick to where when the process slows down and when there's times when it's really hard and it's rough this is the moment that you're actually progressing and you, you need to keep going this is the exact moment where if you continue you're progressing Okay, because what happens when you start a business? The first 30% of it, you're very excited about. 50% more, you're excited. 60, 70, 80. But then when you get to the 90%, what happens? The end bit of it is just so hard. And it's so slow. And you feel like you just don't want to do it anymore. And that's the point where you, you know, obviously get yourself back on and, and hit a 10 times better drive. And the one thing about me that I genuinely like and I respect myself for a lot is whenever there's something hard i go really really hard on it and especially if it's like a project that i ever start whatever when times get very slow i go 10 times harder every time something slows me down i focus on it so much to make sure it happens like if a problem comes to me and tells me fuck you this is not going to work i give it 10 fuck yous back and i'm going to find a way to work it out simple as that so it's all about just progression and like honestly it's 2023 you got to be you know you got to be working bills are going to come at you uh, so much shit is going to come at you that is actually going to like it's it's going to fuck you up because now no one gives a fuck about you okay and the people that genuinely give a fuck about you is people that you build bridges with right but even them they need to focus on their own life they have responsibility over themselves right so what you need to do is take care of yourself as well and you need to make sure that you're progressing and you're actually financially stable because if you're not you're actually really fucked like times are only getting harder inflation's over the roof you know people are now just dying to like work make money and a lot of people are struggling so you can e either outsmart everyone and outwork everyone and it works out for you or you can just sit there and do nothing and just absolutely lose a plot where to a point where you're literally like running broke and that's that's what problem is now the problem is money is power and it's always going to be that so you've got to be on to your grind yeah. it's going to have to happen why don't we go pick Fufua from school, your younger brother? My little brother? 
We picked him up from school. We shut the school school down. Bro, that's so Hey, what time is it? What time? What time, though? Yeah. What time? We have 10 minutes till he finishes school. 20, 20. 20. All right, done. All right, let's huh? go. Let's All right, go. All right, already shut it down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm kidding. All right, let's do it. from school, shutting the school down of course and shutting the city because we do own the city. Um, it's looking great, we've got eight to nine cars behind us, probably 15 million dollars worth of cars. But who gives a fuck, we're the one percent, we get to do that, right? So, it's gonna be great and I'm looking forward to it, let's go. Fuck! <laughs> we're shutting it down baby, let's go! So we're about to turn in. Okay, hook a right. Oh my god, these kids are gonna go crazy. My brother right now is the most famous man alone. Like who's... There's a car show for everyone. Yeah, well, there's this kid. There's this kid in school we're picking up and we need to like, hey, there's a thousand dollar giveaway. If you guys upload this on TikTok, the winner gets a thousand dollars. Yes, 100%. What's his name? Oh, I don't know his name. Is he big fat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we play top three? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm like it. Wait, do you guys do on um, YouTube? We do vlogging, yeah. So you guys are all gonna be in the vlogs. All right, can I vlog? Oh, you got? Hello? Yeah, hey. hey. Uh, it's coming out very soon. This is gonna be out. Yeah. No, you're on. No, she's cabbing. Fuck, <laughs> this car's heat. It's for one one kid. You know, we just have problems with him, and we need to give him a chat. <laughs> we just there's this kid. He just said something rude to me, and I'm really offended. So I'm just gonna have to talk with him and just leave it from there. Close. Hey, buddy, come here. We're shutting the whole school. What? Bro, this is some crazy shit. This is crazy, bro. Imagine being picked up, you're 14 years old, getting picked up by a whole bunch of cars like these, bro. Wake up, wake up! Whoa! Yeah, you're gonna be the worst thing. Like, fuck! Bro, so, yeah, we just came to a Fubu school to give him a quick pickup on uh, Monday. And hopefully he doesn't get expelled. We shut down the whole school, everyone's here. And yeah, it's a good time. So, this kid, he messaged me on Facebook, he's like, pull up to the school. And I had to pull up to the school and you know now he's not talking. I don't know. You wanna say something? He's famous. He's famous. Hey, you said something rude, but you said something rude to me. What'd you say? <laughs> he called me fat. Look, he's talking. <laughs> this is my right head, dude. Oh, sorry, sorry guys, I really need you guys to stop now because this is becoming a bad safety issue yeah. to students. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are, we are. How, how's the safety issue? What are we doing? We're on the Let's go, let's go. Right, awesome, shut down. call the cops or whatever. That's what they come up with, dogs. They don't want us to surprise and make the students happy. Yes, that's what it's all about. Let's go. For one for ten. It's gonna be on the news saying, oh, this is some disrespectful behavior. You can't be driving Lamborghinis and picking up kids from school. Fucking broke cunt. But look, man, nobody do it like the way we do it. Look, I'm not trying to say that, you know, we're rich there, bro, all that kind of stuff. But some people just don't like to see others have fun. We're just having fun. We're doing the right thing. The kids were having fun. The kids were motivated. The kids were inspired. They want to do what we're on right now. And, and yeah, it's takeover season. It's gonna be us. So yeah. So. We're here to inspire the young kids, inspire the young generation. Picked up my brother from school. We have all the cars here, getting people, getting the kids to record, have a good time, get photos, and just here yeah, being inspired, you know, instead of doing schoolies and partying and literally ruining their life before it starts. This is what matters. Seeing cars like this, seeing people do it the right way. And we're here to do that. So yeah, this is the one percent, and this is what it's all about. Now, but the thing is, it's all safety. Like everything is safe. In a car park, recording videos, yeah. they're getting videos. We just don't want kids to be happy. They don't want kids to see this shit, you know? And this is what we're all about. We're here to be, you know, inspiring the young generation and we're making it happen. Let's go. 
How are you feeling? Good. He's feeling good. The whole school is talking about him. <laughs> Let's do it. This is what the 1% is about. Inspiring the young generation. Let's go. Get us photos. These kids love it. Look, they're so excited. How is it? Good, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, eh? Yeah. Do so you know what's happening? No, this is too much. I mean, the kids, they've never been in a Lambo. See ya, bye bye. What do you think about the cars? What did you do? What did you think about it, rocking up? Uh, it's awesome. Yeah, I you enjoyed it. Yeah. Hey, on your formals, we're going to pick you all up. Cool. That's it, it's on us. You Yo, don't need my, to rent out cars. My graduation's coming up. Yeah, done. Yeah. Pick you up. What, 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 what grade are you in? Oh, six. All right, you want to take my Instagram down? I don't have it. You don't have it? All right, take it down. Let me know when it is, we'll pick you up. Done. That's if your parents allow you to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you got to. You got to get from the shit. So, yeah, hey, beyond, they want to hit the car. Switch it on. How was that? Yeah. I love it. Lovely kids, lovely day. Another reason for them to come to school and rock up and be surprised by the 1%. Let's go. I actually asked the kids in uni, would they actually teach you this stuff? And they told me no, simply, but I didn't even... It was a rhetorical question. It was a rhetorical question. I already knew the answer to that. Foundation is where you find this stuff. So join the foundation, become a part of the 1% through hard work and dedication like us.